winter, winter, where are we going today? Where are we going today, friends? I wonder what country we get to go to. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. Smells like food. I don't know what it tastes like. Uh, oh, I don't know how to get it out. How did it get all the white stuff out? I can't take it like this. Our friends will know what it is. This is what we humans use a lot when we eat our food. Do you see the little tiny tiny holes? I'll show this to my friends. I think they will know what this is. There it is. Yeah. The white stuff, Molly, if I turn this upside down, hold my hand, the white stuff comes out. Would you like to try to taste it now? Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to taste it. Yeah, me, me, me. Ah! Oh, you don't like it, Molly? Friends, do you know why she doesn't like it? It looks like sugar, Molly, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not good. I don't like it. This is called salt, Molly. We put it in our food. And that's what our story is about. Salt? There's Ukraine, there's Poland, there's Germany, oh, uh, Czech Republic, there's 
Austria and Hungary. And you know what else? Where I live, grew up, we had no ocean like we do here. Oh, but I like ocean. Yeah, I do too. I really like living by the ocean in Vancouver. My country didn't have any oceans. But today's story, Molly, is about uh -huh, salt. And I don't know how to translate it for you, but it's, I think the best way to tell you the title is that salt is more precious than gold. No, 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 gold is nice and good. Well, let's find out, Wally. Uh, the story is called, well, why the gold is, the gold's more precious, uh, salt is more precious than gold. This is one of my favorite, favorite stories ever. So, I'll be right back with the king. Just a moment. We'll start right away. Salt. Well, I am the king. And I, well, you know, I rule this land. And everything I say must be done. But I'm getting a little, little old. And I think it's time to give my kingdom to my daughters. I have three daughters. I'm gonna call them and see what they say. I'll ask each one the same question. My dear daughter, how much do you love me? And the one that answers the best will get the kingdom. And she gets to be the queen of all oh, my lads. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Hey, please call my daughters in, everybody. <sighs> well, my oldest daughter, how much do you love me? Well, Daddy, I. You know, I, I, I like parties and I like all kinds of things, Daddy. But yes, I, I love you very, very much. I love you, Daddy, as much as all the world, all, all the gold in the world. Oh, is that beautiful? Gold is so nice and sparkly. I love it. All right, so then you're on the sister. Oh, sister. Daddy wants to see you. Yes, Daddy. Um, how much do I love you? Oh, I like dancing. I like parties. And how much do I love you? Hmm. Daddy, I love you as much as the jewels in the world. Oh, yes. That is how much I love you. Mm -hmm. And you, my youngest daughter, how much do you love me? Oops. Well, Daddy, Daddy, um, you mean the world to me. I love you with all my heart and I love you as much as all the salt in the world. I do. You don't look very happy about that, Daddy. Oh, well. Marushka! How could you say you love me as much as plain salt? Everybody has salt everywhere. How, how can you think that this is precious? We have so much salt everywhere and you love me as much as that? Your sisters love me with as gold 
one loves me as much as this gold another one loves me just as much as all the jewels in the world you only love me as much as salt oh my dear girl i'm not happy with this you're gonna have to go away from my kingdom and come back when salt is more precious than gold oh i'm very sad and disappointed can't believe you said salt <laughs> i'm very sorry daddy i'm sorry i hurt your feelings but that is the way i feel i love you and you're precious like salt to me but you you're right i will follow your instructions i'll obey so i'm gonna go leave the castle bye daddy goodbye sisters i'll see you one day i hope i hope to see you one day So, a little time went by, and not much happened, except, well, Marushka. She found a house far, far away, and she started to work for a lady, old, old lady, on the edge of the forest. And in the meantime, things went as they always did. There were parties, there was dancing, there was food, and one day, Something strange happened. The king was eating his food. And he said, Ew! This food tastes awful. What is going on? I, my guess, I don't think my guests are liking any of this food. What's wrong with the chef? Sent for the chef. So the chef came out. <gasps> yes, yeah, 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 yes, sire, I I'm here. Uh, hello, your majesty. What, what, what do you need? Uh, I, I, I'm here. What, what would you like to ask me? Oh, the food. Yeah. Um. Well, we were having problems with the food. You know, I tried to make the best food, but uh, I, I can't. I have no salt. No salt in our entire kingdom. Oh, well. Okay. Well, you have no salt? All right, so give me some bread then. And cake. I'll eat that. Oh, whatever they are. Okay, some bread. Surely we don't need salt for that. Oh! <laughs> that doesn't taste good at all. Oh! Surely the cake will taste really good. Who put salt in the cake? Let's have a piece here. neighboring towns and look for salt please we must bring some salt for our chef this is just totally silly no way so a few days passed and one of the nights sire hello your majesty i'm very very sorry uh to disturb you um I am afraid our neighbors have no salt. Nobody has salt. And we went to the neighbors far away than that. And we even went across the sea, sire. Looks like there's no salt anywhere in the world. I'm very, very sorry, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, your highness. 
Well, I can't believe this. My daughter said she loves me as much as salt, and I, I thought she was being silly. Everybody has salt. Everybody uses salt. I never thought we would ever, ever run out. And now our neighbors have run out of salt. What am I going to do? Oh, no. I wish my daughter Marushka was here. I wish she was. I'm so, so sorry. I was very cruel to her. I sent her away from the kingdom. Oh, I, miss, I wish I did not do that. I miss my daughter very, very much. Well, as time went by, the king got more sick and more sick. Nobody knew what the matter was. And far away where Marushka lived, on the edge of the forest, with an old, old lady, she learned something from her. One day, the old lady came home and she said, Marushka, we've talked about this before, my dear. You've been fabulous help to me. And my little house, you helped me cook, you helped me clean, you kept me company. But now, my dear, it is time for you to go home. Time has come. Your dad is very, very sick. And the only thing that will cure him is salt. So, my dear girl, I give you special salt. This salt, my darling, there's not much of it, as you can see, but this salt will never, ever run out. So I'll pack it for you, and my dear, take good care, and heal your father. All he needs is just a little bit of salt, and he'll be all cured. Please. Go now, my child. Go see your dad and take salt with you. And so, Marushka left the house. And it was a long, long way for her to go. She walked and walked for hours and days. And finally, she came back. There's my castle. It looks so empty here. There's hardly anyone. Nobody seems to be happy in this kingdom anymore. Oh, my daddy must be very, very sick. Well, I'm going to try and go inside. Let's try and see. Please, please let me in. Who's at the gate? What do you mean you have cure for the king? All the best um, doctors from all of the kingdom and next kingdom came by. Nobody knows what to do about the king. You, you little lady know how to cure him? No. Hmm. All right. You're right. Yeah. I'll let you in. I don't believe you can do this, but so many have tried. Maybe you can. Hang on. We'll open up the gate for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I guess the guard didn't recognize me. I've been away for so, so long. Oh. I'll take my salt out and get ready to meet Daddy. 
Oh, Daddy, you look so, so ill. It's me, it's your daughter, Marushka. I'm here to help you. And I have salt for you. Please have a little bit, Daddy. Please. Oh, you look so much better, Daddy. Oh, I'm so glad. And oh, yes. Oh, thank you, my dear child. I missed you so terribly. I'm so sorry I was cruel to you. And thank you so, so much for bringing me this beautiful salt. Now I understand why salt is so important. Chef explained to me that everything has salt. Even my cakes need a little bit of salt. But my dear, do you have more salt? Can we get more for the rest of the kingdom and all our, uh, all our people? Really? That's all you have? No. Really? It will never, never run out? <sighs> My dear daughter, you are so wonderful. Thank you for saving me. And thank you for saving our kingdom. You are such a precious gift. And salt, little salt, is super important. Now I understand, my dear. And so after this, after this, Marushka shared her salt and everyone in the kingdom had lots of salt now to eat and they were no longer sick and the king was not sick anymore and Marushka was just super happy to be at home with her daddy and her sisters and the people in her kingdom and she often thought about the old lady she never figured out how just a little bit of salt she gave her could feed the entire kingdom day after day after day. It would never ever disappear. The end. That was my favorite and still my favorite story when I was a little girl. And even when I was a bigger girl, this was my favorite for sure. And did you know that we've made all kinds of things with salt? Didn't we don't just use it in in food, but we've made paintings with salt too. If you have a wet wet painting with watercolors and you sprinkle some salt, it'll drink a little bit of your paint and leave a design. Epsom salts are really good for that. Or if you sprinkle some salt on your glue and then use pipe cleaners, oh, they'll make beautiful design. And it sparkles too. So I can make your picture sparkly if you glue some on. Salt is very, very useful, isn't it? Oh, hey, I think we have someone who's hiding from us. Hang on. What are you saying? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. I found our Sammy. He says he likes salt too. Oh, Sammy, would you like to come out and say hello to our friends? So friends, we've got a little button here. And Sammy's hiding inside our cone. Uh-oh. Yeah. He doesn't have a door. How is he going to come out? He likes to pop out of his roof. So we'll sing. We'll sing a song. Where is Sammy hiding? Then you need to help me push the button. We'll count to three and see if it comes out. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Where is Tommy hiding? Do you know? Inside a cone, way down low. Press the magic button, you will see. Get ready. He'll pop up. One, two, three. You like soul juice, Tommy? Yeah. Oops. He didn't talk to us much, did he? Let's bring him back. Are you ready? He doesn't like to talk too much. Tommy just likes to pop in and out and quickly say hello. Where is Sammy hiding? Do you know? Inside a cone, way down low. Press the magic button, you will see. Press it. We'll count now. Pop up. One, two, three. There you are, Sammy. You're gonna, oh, you're jumping, jumping. Oh. One more time. Where is Sammy hiding? Do you know? Inside a go, way down low. Press the magic button, you will see. Push the button. Pop up. One, two, three. There you are, Sammy. Hi. Oh, you're turning around. You want to turn around and around and around? Up. <laughs> Wow, I can't see you. My friends can't see when your cape is up like that. You want to go? All right. Bye, Sammy. Thank you for coming to see us. Oh, well, it makes me very hungry now, Sammy. Makes me think of ice cream cone now. Hmm. He lives in a cone. Imagine if we lived in a cone. Hmm. Where would you put your toys? Where would your bed be if you lived in a cone? Down, down on the bottom of the cone? Or way up high? No, no. But we have just a little tiny bit of time. So. Start nice and slow and we'll get faster and faster. We'll wind it up together. So go. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the bobbin back. Other way. Wind the bobbin back. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. Point to the window, point to the door. Put your hands together. One, two, three. Let's sing it more quickly. Ready? Are you? Here we go. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Chance. Um, Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Put your hands together. One, two, three. Let's do it more quickly. Oh, this is where I like to take a deep breath because singing fast. Sometimes I run over out of breath. So if I take a nice deep breath, I might just have enough. You take one with me or maybe I'll do two big breaths. Here we go. One. One more. Here we go. We'll count to three. One, two, three. Wind the bobbin. Wind the bobbin. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the bobbin. Wind the bobbin. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind the ceiling, put a fall, put a window, put a fall. Up your hands together. One, two, three. Now put them on your lap. So slowly. There we are. And we're going to need our hands again to tickle our stars, friends. Thank you for joining me and Diana and Molly today. I'll see you in one more sleep. Have a fabulous afternoon. And now let's tickle our clouds. Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Turn around. And 
tickle your nose. And reach down low. And reach up high. Our circle time is done. So let's wave goodbye. Bye friends. Have a fabulous afternoon.